The San Francisco Zoo has a heritage of working with birds of prey. Um, way back to 1970s, I think it actually began with a rehabilitation program and then established a captive breeding program for peregrine falcons. Peregrine falcon are native to actually the entire world. The only place you don't find them is Antarctica. But when the pesticide DDT was produced in the 1950s and then banned in 1972, um, that chemical saturated our environment, moved its way through the food chain, and affected peregrine falcons significantly. They laid thin-shelled eggs, and essentially it wiped out their breeding, and the population crashed. And so they were one of the first animals to be put on the endangered species list. The peregrine falcons are still relatively rare, but California's recovery has been really remarkable because there was a, a very focused effort in this state to, to manage what few breeding pairs there were, supplement them with captive bred birds, and bolster the population. Um, and so it, it went from a, a a breeding population of say nine in in the 80s to um, there's some 300 nests in the state of California now so a, a remarkable recovery to the point where they are no longer on the endangered species list. We're here at the Animal Resource Center at the San Francisco Zoo. This building houses over 100 animals um, that are used in all the zoo's education and outreach programs. My name is Noelle Bittigan-Berry and I'm the Animal Resource Center intern at the San Francisco Zoo. My job is to help take care of the animals that are part of the zoo's education and outreach programs. Come say hello. Aren't they cute? And one of our favorite animal ambassadors is Bella, our peregrine falcon. So let's go ahead and meet her. This is Bella. She's our peregrine falcon. Bella is a cross between two falcon subspecies. Um, she is part tundra and part anatom, a falcon subspecies um, that's native to California. So that's the type of peregrine falcon you would see um, flying around in the Bay Area. So she's half of a local bird. Um, Bella is here with us because she is a former falconry bird. Um, so she was a hunting companion um, and she was born in captivity and raised by people and that's why she's um, not a candidate for a release into the wild. Bella is a 22-year-old bird. Normally in the wild, peregrine falcons live anywhere from 12 to 16 years, and in captivity, they live anywhere from 15 to 25 years. So she is an older bird, um, but she's in perfect health, and we hope she lives for many more years. Her job is to um, go around to uh, classes, to teach um, the public about peregrine falcons. So usually uh, when people see her, they, they become very attached and very interested in her story. Um, so she allows us um, to tell people about peregrine falcons um, in a very interactive way. Can you say hello? And peregrine falcons are a phenomenal example of an animal success story. Um, they were basically on the brink of extinction, um, but they've made a wonderful comeback. They were taken off the endangered species list um, in 1999, um, but it took a, a lot of hard work um, to get them to that point. Um, there was great collaboration um, by um, zoos and conservation um, organizations and falconers um, and just people who took a liking to their story. Um, an interesting fact about peregrine falcons is that they've become um, urbanized animals essentially. So um, they love to, to roost on um, cliffs and so essentially our buildings are acting like those cliffs and their main prey um, are birds and fortunately we have a great food source for them in, in cities. Um, pigeons and, and blackbirds and jays um, are a primary food source for them. And it's interesting, those, those peregrine falcons that do live in cities now don't migrate anymore because we've um, given them essentially everything they need to live. Bella does a great job serving as an animal ambassador. 
Um, and it's, it's great to be able to see a peregrine falcon up close and personal. But ultimately, where we would like to see peregrine falcons is flying in the wild. Our hope is that when people come to the zoo um, and come to see Bella, that they're inspired to take conservation into their own hands um, and to help conservation efforts so that peregrine falcons um, can remain in the wild where they belong.